Oh yeah, baby, it's morning time. Welcome to the celebration, morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford, and we're here once again to give God all glory, all honor, all praise. For this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice. I'm going to say that again, man. We shall rejoice. We're going to muster up the strength. We're going to find the fortitude, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's morning time, baby. It is morning time. Oh, yeah. Deacon Doc, Mother Horton, Sister Odessa, good morning to you. It's morning time, baby. It is morning time. Oh, yeah, it's morning time, baby. Yes, 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 yes. You see it, it's in the word. Right there. Morning to you, DD. Morning to you, Sister Allison, Sister Jess. Good morning to you, Sister Deanna. Oh, yeah, it's morning time, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. God is great and He is worthy. It is morning time, man. Good morning to each and every single y'all, single one of y'all. Welcome to the celebration. Morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford, and we're here once again to give God all glory, all honor, all praise. For this is the day, y'all. I'm gonna say that. Hey, Keyshawn. Good morning to you, little cuz. Good morning to you, Miss Bridget. Good morning to you, Miss Reggie. Good morning to your mother, Lewis. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It is morning time. Thank y'all for tuning in this morning, man. God is great, and he is worthy to be praised. Despite whatever we may be going through, whatever situation, whatever trial, whatever temptation, God is great, and he is worthy to be praised. If y'all don't mind, y'all hit that share button. Let's get the message out to as many people as possible. So before we even get into anything, I got to be mindful to give a shout out to my first lady, y'all. I got to give a shout out, a big, 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 big birthday shout out. To my wife, Miss Elvira, uh, Elvira Ford Pumpkin, I love you, and I just want to give you a big, big shout out. I already gave a shout out, but you know I got to put it out there and say happy birthday to her, man. And um, secondly, I just want to thank y'all, you know, for um, for those who 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 uh checked in on me, you know, yesterday I really, I really wasn't, no, I, I I really wasn't feeling, you know, myself. I was I was in a fog. I was in this. In, in, in this different space, you know what I'm saying, and, um, but, you know, God pushed me, he pushed me, he told me, you know, to get on, I wasn't even gonna get on and do more than motivation, but, uh, he pushed me, you know what I'm saying, he said, you gotta still do it, and, and the reason why he said still do it is because they gotta see the struggle, they gotta, they, they can't see always, you know, the smile, they can't always see when everything is all good, they gotta see the struggle, you know what I'm saying, they gotta see that, and, and, and the reason why they got to see it is because everybody go through something. Everybody goes through something. And sometimes when people go through what they go through, they feel like they're alone. But they're the only ones that are experiencing certain things. And so for me to get on yesterday, and I, and I like a lot of y'all hit me up, and y'all told me y'all could see it all over my face. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't okay. I, you know what I'm saying? Even right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm still dealing with it. I'm still dealing with it. I'm, 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 I'm really still dealing with, you know, what happened to that baby. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I think it was the fact that as I was getting my babies ready for school, I got the news. That's when I got the news. And so um, I got an opportunity to meet with the family on yesterday, you know, and, um, you know, meet with them and, and, and uh, speak with them, you know, briefly, you know, respecting, you know, their their grief process. And so we're going to move forward, though. We're going to move forward, man. We're going to move forward. God God is still on the throne. God is still on the throne despite everything. And that's what I believe makes this word right here. This Proverbs 3 and 5. If y'all notice, Proverbs 3, uh, 5 and 6, I, it, we're still on the same spot. And, I, and, and, and uh, it, it's so rich and it's so timely. 
You know what I mean? Proverbs 3, chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Still dealing with humility. Still dealing with humility. So uh, we're going to pray and greet the word and we're, we're going to go ahead and get into our morning motivation this morning. Father God, as we come to you in the mighty name of your son, Christ Jesus, we come humbly before your throne, Father, asking for your strength, asking for your wisdom, asking for your knowledge, asking for your understanding, Lord. We know that we are nothing without you, but through you that we can do all things because it's Christ that strengthens us. As we come together, Father, just bless us indeed. Take care of everything concerning us, Father God, so that we can keep our eyes fixed on you. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name it is we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. The word reads, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. May God add a blessing to the reading, the hearer, but most importantly, the doer of his holy word. And so I believe, you know, as we talk about humility, I believe that this is key. This is key right here. This set of scripture, these two scriptures, it kind of really lay out a foundation of why we should be humble and the benefits of being humble. If you look when I did, um, you know, when I showed the Bible, it it um, starts right here in chapter three. There's a note in the in, in my in my text, and it says the benefits of wisdom. It says the benefits of wisdom, and so I just wanted to touch on that and say the benefits of humility, the benefits of humility. And it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. So right there, we know that, you know, when we when we step out and we're doing things from the way our perspective and the way we feel that things should go, that's that's not God. You know, because we now we're moving off emotions. Now we're moving off of our own knowledge. Now we're moving off deep, you know, from that space. That's the way we're moving. And that's not God. So it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. In order to get to a place that you can trust in the Lord, you got to be humble. You got there, there is no other way. There is no other way to approach the Lord, to fully say that you trust. In order for me to trust you, man, like, 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 like I got to, I got to kind of let my, I got to let my guard down around you. I got to trust is in something that comes overnight. Trust is in something that is just, just given. Trust is something that is earned, and once you earn my trust and I'm comfortable around you, then I can let my guard down. And so it says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart, not with 70%, not with 80%, not with 99.8, with all of your heart. And so that, that means that you got to swallow all of your pride, that you got to be humble. You got to approach him from a space of humility. And it says to lean not to your own understanding, even as, you know, I, I, I went through yesterday and um, some things you just, you just cannot make sense of. Some things you just ain't going to be able to make sense of. You're not going to be able to make sense of some things. It may come like later on, things may re be revealed to you. You may, you, you, you may uh, understand why they happen. No, no, no. You may understand how they happen, what transpired. What brought the situation, but you may never understand why it happened. And so it says, lean not to your own understanding, because as you lean to your own understanding, all you're trying to do, you're trying to just figure it out. All you're trying to do is just figure things out. And then you figuring out, you overthinking. And that overthinking, man, it brings on stress. It brings on anxiety. A lot of us deal with anxiety. I had my very, very first anxiety attack maybe about two years ago. And I really, and I was, you know, from the way I was raised, like mental health really wasn't, you know, a, a thing that was, it wasn't even a thing. I'm going to say it like that. It was not really even a thing. So I really didn't understand like mental health and stuff like that. And honestly, I'm going to be honest. I was, I, I kind of like, look, I, I kind of felt it was a cop out. I kind of felt like, you know, that that was an excuse. So I never took it serious. Even though I had people in my own family 
that had mental health, I mean, serious mental health issues, I never even took it seriously. I, you know, they, hey man, he just crazy. That, that, that was mental health when I was growing up. And he just, you know, that boy just crazy, that's all. You know, she just crazy, that's it. But not understanding they had mental health issues. And so about two years ago, I had my, my very first anxiety attack. I mean, like I had to sit down, I had to gather myself because, you know, I was feeling so anxious that I got caught the jitteries and everything. And so this is what happens when uh, you pressure yourself, you put yourself in a position where you're trying to understand everything. And some things you just got to let go and let God. You have to be able to let go and let God. You got to be able to let let some let it go, and say, "Man, this ain't even this ain't my lane. This ain't where I'm supposed to be right now." And so I'm gonna step back and I'm allow you, God, to move into the situation. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. You know what I'm saying? All your ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. That's in full submission. That's in full submission. And if you think about what we talked about last week, we said that humility opens the door for submission and it leads to commitment. So in all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. We're talking about humility, y'all. We're talking about being, being in a place where God can really move in us and move through us. He'll be able to move in us. I'm talking about move in us so that we're able to affect change around us. We're able to come in. We're able to come in and bring peace to situations. We're able to come in and run demons out. That's what we got to do. This is what God is calling us to do. And sometimes as we go along this journey, we're going to encounter some very hard things. But don't get discouraged. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. Don't take my word for it, y'all. Get into the word for yourself. That's Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. When you read your word, jump into the comment box and say, I read my word. Man, I love y'all. God bless you. Yes, ma'am, Miss Lester. It's Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, and we're talking about humility. We're talking about being humble. We're talking about positioning ourselves so that we could really, 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 really walk out our, our purpose in life. God will be able to use us, and he'll be able to move through us. So I'm about, I'm about to sign off. Y'all remember, faith over fear, God over everything together. We have made love great again because love has never, nor will it ever, lose its power. It just lost its popularity. I love y'all. God bless you. Shout out to all y'all, man. Shout out to all y'all who logged on this morning. Shane, Natalie. Shout out to Michaela. Shout out to uh, 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 Cassandra, man. Shout out to all y'all who logged on. Miss Sarah. Shout out to all y'all, man. I know I'm missing some people. Listen, Mo. Uh, shout out to you, Mo. Shout out to each and every single one of y'all who logged on. Those who are going to log on on a later time. I love y'all. God bless you. Signing off, man. Got to get these babies to school, man. I love y'all. God bless you. Y'all be encouraged, man. God got us. If we let go and we let God. I'll let y'all later. God bless you.